Hey everyone, before I get this video started, I wanna remind you that the reseller rally is quickly approaching. It's Saturday, September 30th. We're having it at the BB Riverboats here in Cincinnati and there are a limited number of tickets still available. We're also gonna be doing a pre-rally networking event the Friday before, Friday, September 29th at the Embassy Suites in Covington. The Friday night event won't have a boat ride and dinner like the Saturday event, but we are gonna be having some networking. There's gonna be a cocktail and hors d'oeuvres hour. Trash to Cash is gonna record a live podcast and we're gonna be having some giveaways there too. Tickets for both events are on our website. I'll put a link down below in the description. Description. Hope to see you there. Morning. How are you? Good, how are you doing? Good. Those are empty. Empty? Mind. Okay. How are you? I'm doing great. Yeah. Good day for having a sale. I hope so. It's warm. Those are 18s and 17s. 18s? Holy cow. Yeah, I know, right? He's not, he's only 15. How tall is he? Oh my goodness. Yeah, my nephew. Who's he play for? He's from Northeast Ohio. My sister sent his old sports equipment down. Gotcha. Yeah, so they're in good shape. I just, I hope someone can use them. He goes through <coughs> shoes like water. That's crazy. Yeah. Would you take 20 if I bought all three pair? Yeah, I would. Okay, I'll do that. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. How much is the glove? Let me double check the little man's ready to let that one go. Okay, no problem. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Are you going to keep this or resell it? Sell it? Okay. What would you need for the glove? Um, I see it five bucks. Sold. There you awesome. go. First real customer. Yeah, thank you. All right, cool. Thank Thanks. you. Thanks. Good luck with your sale. Yeah. Usually it's the other way. The guys and women want to get rid of them. Oh, my husband. I'm tired of looking at him. Oh, hey, thank you so much. Thank you. Do you never use your bike? No, that's never been opened. That weight bench has never been opened what well, might have been open it's never been used is it like amazon returns yeah gotcha and the thing with it the only issue with it is there's the weights but it's missing one 15 pound weight okay other than that it's perfect are these sold already no nah. okay i was doing I left the other, I was doing five each, but if you want like three for 10 or uh -huh. uh, five for 20, you do that. How much are these? A dollar. Dollar sold, I'll take those. Would you go 12 on these? I think it adds up to 16. Yeah, that's fine. I appreciate it. I owe you a buck for the cards. I was, I was just going to like sit right there. Oh, wait, no, the mirrors are there. I don't mind. There you go. Oh, you can hand it to her. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you so much. Thank you. Good luck with the sale. You too. Morning. Go ahead. Oh, sorry. Speaking at your scooter, this is cool. What are you asking on that? Forty dollars. Forty bucks. Yeah, that's Honda. That is very cool. That's actually Honda. I, I was surprised. I didn't even know they made them. Yeah. Would you take twenty for it? I take twenty-five. You got a deal. There you go. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Good luck with your sale. Thank you very much.
How much are your mugs? Uh, that's those are three dollars a piece. Would you do five bucks for three? That's fine. Yeah. Okay, thank you. There you go. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Good luck with your sale. Good luck with your sale. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Morning. How much are your CDs? Two. Two bucks. There you go. Thank you. Good luck with your sale. Thank you. We had a t shirt for Food Fighters. Did you? Already yeah. sold? Yeah. Did you? I saw you. I used to see there. You didn't. Yeah, I that's me. You oh, time. awesome. Thank you. What's your name? Hermie. Hermie and John. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I watched you all that time. I appreciate it. So good luck to you. Nice you. meeting you. I'm back at the shop and I didn't find a ton of stuff today, but I'm pretty happy with what I did find. First sale, I bought three pair of cleats and uh, a really nice baseball glove <laughs> these cleats are absolutely massive she said they're size 18 let's see if i can confirm it on the tag this one says 17 let's see this one says size 15 and then these are yeah size 18 wide and if i'm remembering correctly she said it was a 14 year old kid that is outgrowing these massive shoes. And he's like 6'3", so I'm sure this guy is just humongous. Probably an awesome football player. These looked really clean to me. Like, I don't think they got a ton of use. And bigger sizes like this sell. For the same reason that, you know, bigger clothing like 3XL, 4XL, that stuff sells because it's harder to find. There's not that much of it out there. So, yeah, you might not have as, you know, big of a market of people to sell it to, but... They are looking for it. So I got three pair for 20 bucks. I think I can get 30 to $40 for each pair. Uh, this glove I only gave five bucks for. Uh, this is a Louisville Slugger TPS. This is a, um, I think it's a softball fast pitch catcher's mitt. Usually you can tell by the model number if there's an FP. Yeah, so FP203, that means fast pitch. So this is a uh, fast pitch softball catcher's mitt. It almost looks like a first baseman's glove, but this is too thick. Uh, for the scoop of a first baseman, I think just a little bit too thick. So really nice glove that should go for about 30 bucks I got some Starbucks Disney mugs Really cool. This is uh the you are here series. We got Epcot Animal Kingdom and uh, Magic Kingdom I paid five for the three of them prices on these are kind of all over the place I don't think I'm gonna try to list them individually I'm just gonna try to list all three and try to get 30 40 bucks for the set Got this rare Queens of the Stone Age CD. Only reason this caught my eye is I'm a fan of Queens of the Stone Age and I've never seen this album before. So I looked it up. It is rare. Not many sales of it. Maybe two or three, but then there's not many active either. I think I can get 20 or 30 bucks for that. I uh, picked up some movies and stuff. Motherfucker on uh, Blu ray. We're just going to keep that one. Got this anime uh, season two and season one, uh, Gantz. I've never heard of it, but has a little bit of value. Uh, I think I saw season one and two had sold for like $30 together. And then some more anime. These are only like a buck each. FLCL, I have no idea. But it looked like these were selling too, so I grabbed them. Definitely, though, my best buy of the day is this vintage Honda. Yes, I said Honda. This is a uh, Scoot and Go. This isn't gas powered. I'm sorry, kick and go. This isn't uh, gas powered, anything like that. It's just, you know, a regular old plane uh, push scooter. But there's not that many of them out there. And it's definitely a collector's item. I paid 25 for it, and the same one is selling for around 100 bucks. Almost forgot. Uh, I got this uh, Sony uh, stereo setup cassette, uh, all this, and it had the cabinet and speakers. Pay 20 bucks for it. It's really not worth a lot. Maybe 40 or 50 bucks. I'm going to try to sell the whole kit and caboodle locally and uh, try to get 40 or 50 bucks for it instead of trying to ship everything. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.